Today is Saturday. It is the Jewish Sabbath. Jesus is eating supper in Mary's and Martha's home. In the little town of Bethany, just two miles outside of Jerusalem. You remember Lazarus, whom Jesus raised from the dead? He is sitting by Jesus. Many people are there listening and staring. Look! Look over there! There is Jesus, and also Lazarus, the man he raised from the dead. Something special is happening. Martha's sister Mary is pouring very expensive perfume on Jesus' feet and wiping his feet with her hair because she loves him very much and knows he is going to die. What is this you are doing? That is very expensive perfume. It should be sold and the money given to the poor. Why are you wasting it? Leave her alone, Judas. She's doing it for me, because I shall soon die. Outside there are evil Pharisees and Sadducees who are waiting to kill Jesus. This is the last week before Jesus is crucified. Did you see the man Jesus raised from the dead? You mean Lazarus? Yes, and something must be done. We must get rid of Jesus and Lazarus once and for all. Why should we kill Jesus? Because everyone likes him and believes him, and soon no one will pay any attention to us, and will be pushed aside and won't be important anymore. The next day was Sunday. Many people were coming to attend the Feast of the Passover. They heard Jesus was coming, and they were very excited. There he is! It is Jesus! He's coming! Blessed is the King! Blessed is the King of Israel that cometh in the name of the Lord! Look! It's Jesus of Nazareth, the Son of God! Hail! Hail to Jesus, the King of the Jews! Thousands of people surrounded him. They loved him and worshipped him. But not the Pharisees and chief priests. Tell your disciples to be quiet. They are disturbing the peace. I tell you that if my disciples should hold their peace, the stones would immediately cry out. Later that day, Jesus said that because the wicked people would not repent, someday their beautiful temple would be destroyed. And so would many of the Jews. Then Jesus made all the money changers and wicked people leave the temple, just like he did almost two years earlier. It is written, My house is a house of prayer. But ye have made it a den of thieves. The next day was Monday, and Jesus spent the day in the temple teaching and healing others. He became very sad because he must soon leave all his dear friends. My mother said you won't be with us any longer because you are going to die. Are you really going to die? How come you have to die? Don't you want to be with us anymore? My dear little friends, I've always loved you and wanted to be with you, and always will. Then why can't you live forever and never die so we can always be with you? Everyone must die. Even me. If I don't die, then I can't be resurrected. And if I'm not resurrected, then no one else can be resurrected and live with me and my Father in heaven. So then do you have to die? Or else no one can be resurrected? That's right. And you promise you'll come alive again after you die? Yes. On the third day I shall rise from the dead. You know something? 
I'll still cry when you die, and I'll miss you terribly. And afterwards, he wept for the people who would not believe in him. Master, when will the world come to an end, and when will you visit the earth again in the last days? I will come at a time when there will be many wars, earthquakes, and serious problems. And before that time, you will be killed by your enemies. There shall be many signs given in heaven. Then I shall come. And if you want to be ready, you must have oil in your lamp. That means you must be doing good things. On Wednesday, Judas Iscariot, one of Jesus' apostles, went to the wicked leaders. What will you give me if I help you find Jesus? Judas was selfish. He was a thief. He was trying to make money by telling them where they could capture Jesus. We will give you 30 pieces of silver if you will tell us. The next day was Thursday. This was the day the Last Supper was held. Jesus and the 12 disciples were in a special room at a big table. It was evening and everyone was very quiet. Verily I say unto you, that one of you shall betray me. They were all very sad, and each one said to him, Lord, is it I? He that dippeth his hand with me in the dish, the same shall betray me. It was Judas Iscariot. He was the one who would bring about Jesus' death. Master, am I the one who shall betray you? You are the one. Then Jesus took bread and blessed it and broke it and gave it to the disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body. Then he passed them the wine and told them that he would not eat or drink with them again until they were together in his father's kingdom. This was the very first sacrament, and whenever we take the sacrament, we are supposed to remember Jesus. Then Jesus knelt down and washed their feet to teach them to be humble and serve others, just like Jesus had served them. Then Judas left to betray him. A new commandment I give unto you that ye love one another as I have loved you, that ye also love one another. By this shall all men know that ye are my disciples, if ye have love one to another. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you, that where I am, there ye may be also. Greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. If ye love me, keep my commandments. Jesus told them not to be sad, because he would send the Holy Ghost to them. The Holy Ghost would comfort them and teach them everything they needed to know. Then they sang a song together. When I die tomorrow, all of you will be scattered like sheep. Not me, Lord. I'm willing to die with you, Peter. Before the rooster crows in the morning, you will deny me three times. The eleven apostles went with Jesus to the Garden of Gethsemane. 
Jesus became very sad. My soul is exceeding sorrowful, even unto death. Please stay here and watch with me. He went a little further alone and fell down and prayed. Oh, my father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as thou wilt. Jesus came to Peter, James, and John two different times in the night and begged them to stay awake with him, that they were too tired. I need to tell you why Jesus was weeping so hard. It wasn't because he was afraid to die. It was because the greatest miracle in the whole world was happening. A miracle for you and me. Jesus was suffering for our sins. No one knows how Jesus did it, but somehow all of the sorrow and trouble in all the world was now on Jesus' shoulders. Jesus did this for you and for me because he loves us. He paid for our sins here in the Garden of Gethsemane so we can go to heaven with him when we die if we repent of our sins. I hope you love him for what he did here for you. And I hope you will always repent when you do something wrong. Judas, are you sure he is here? How can we tell in the dark which is Jesus? I will embrace him and give him a kiss. That will be the signal. Then grab him and don't let him escape. Whom seek ye? Jesus of Nazareth. I have told you that I am he. If therefore ye seek me, let these go their way. Hail, Master. It is me, Judas, your disciple. Would you betray me with a kiss, Judas? There he is. There is Jesus of Nazareth. Malchus, touch my master and you shall die. My ear? He cut off my ear! Peter cut off Malchus's ear, but Jesus touched it and healed it and then told Peter that God would help them if they needed help. All of the apostles ran away and set for Peter. The wicked Jewish leaders took Jesus to the palace of Caiaphas. Caiaphas was a very wicked high priest. Next time you shall see all the terrible things they did to Jesus and how they finally crucified him. It is very sad. Then you will see him get resurrected. It will be so special. See you next time. <laughs>